Hi everybody, hope everybody's having a great day. Today is day four of index card a day challenge and the quote is lavender and I love lavender and I'm so happy to be in a place where I can grow lavender as a perennial. Um, so I'm just going to grab my inspiration for today and it is actually a watercolor picture that I did a while ago so basically I am going to attempt to duplicate the feeling that I created in this picture which I love Oops, it's kind of off center and but using acrylic paints so that's kind of my only goal so I'm gonna paint flowers and if you've noticed some of my videos of late that's really what I I've, I've done a lot of I've been painting flowers cherry blossoms I painted the um, hibiscus um, I also did another one on a shirt different kind of daisy like flowers so that's what I'm going to do now, in trying to decide what to do, I was going to do smooshing, but I in the, realized that I have some of these um, painted papers, uh, coffee filters from using up leftover paint, and I think I'm going to do some collaging for the background of this. I want kind of the sky in at the top and the green on the bottom. I may add color, I may not, just depends. But this is just going to be the background. And because I love, love, love the torn edges of this, of coffee filters, I'm going to add that. And that's just going to add to this overall feel. And I am really just getting rid of any of the straight curved edges, I guess, of the coffee filter. This kind of, you know, the colors of the, I think these are Delusions paints on here that um, is just kind of the background. So I may need more, but we're just going to get started. And I'm just using Mod Podge for right now to start this. lot more green than there is. I just want the illusion that there are other plants in the background, other greeneries, kind of out of focus, if you will. And I'm just going to put a little bit of blues down here because maybe there's a peak piece of the sky that's peeking through.
time. So I'm just going to dry this. And we'll see if anything else needs to be added. Okay, so I have a couple shades of green. I've got Hooker's Green, Hue, and Light Green Permanent. And I have my little brush and I'm going to put some water down here in case I need to do it. And I just going to you know I'm going to add a little gray because the actual lavender plant has a little bit of kind of a gray tone to it so I'm just going to add that to my green here to kind of gray it down, kind of give it that look. I, you know, you have these colors. Mix them. You can make your own special combos. Now I'm going to use my liner brush and I'm just going to make some Trying not to overthink this. Just going to overlap. Okay, so it looks, you know, it's a work in progress. Just going to dry those off. And now I have Diox Purple and Brilliant Purple. And I might grab some white. I'm just getting a little bit of different, the three colors, two colors on there. I'm just going to make zoom in a little bit. Hopefully keep an eye on
kind of liking the look. I can't tell. I cannot lie. Cannot tell a lie. I'm liking what is happening here. That one doesn't have a stem, but I can adjust that at some point in time down the line. Some of the flowers are going to go off the edge. And I, you know, as usual, I did practice on a piece of paper. I don't even know where it went earlier, just to just to see. Some of them I'm just adding a little bit of dark, some of them I'm adding some light. I'm just really following just my my intuition, I guess, you know. I'm not, I don't have a plan. If you don't have those purples, just grab whatever purple you have. Right? There's different different tones and shades of lavender, so you know what? I'm thinking that's done. Might add some more. Fronds. Okay, so I'm really liking how this is looking, and I hope you do as well. I like how the coffee filter give kind of that watercolor background. Now what I'm going to do here, still with this small round brush, I'm going to take some of the dark and I'm just going to press into some of them. I'm going to zoom in so you can maybe see this. So it looks like the little kernels of lavender I'm not going to do this on all of them. One of the things that I learned when I was working on trying to do watercolors was that you give the illusion of it. You fill in some and then the person's mind actually fills in the rest. If you want, you could totally skip this step if you don't like how this adds to it or if you like it better without, you know, that's 
totally, totally up to you. So I'm just going to leave that. I think, you know, we have some highs and some lows. We've got different shades of purple. And, you know, sometimes less is more. Step away, Karen, drop the brush. So I'm just going to, I cleaned up the green paint and I have another lovely coffee filter. So I am, actually I'm going to do some smooshing on one of these cards first. I'm just going to going to leave it like that. Let that dry and then the rest of this we will put into the paper towel or into the coffee filter. So now that's dry. You kind of have to really let that dry because you, it's gone on quite thick. And I'm just going to use the blue. I think black is going to be a little too stark here. Could have gone purple, but... This is just some acrylic paint that I already had pre-mixed in a fine liner. Oops, I managed to get that before I even splattered. that a dry. And I didn't find any quotes about lavender, but lavender is about calm and dreaming and being kind of restoring balance. And I have one of my just sayings here that says, seek balance. So I'm going to just put that on. And I'll put a link to the video, my t technique tag video, where I talk about how to, how I created this. And if you go to my blog, the link is down below, you will, can download the document where all of these are typed up. Then you can choose your own font and, um, Navy Archival here, or they call it Cobalt. So that was a quick, easy, and you know, I love it. I love the color combinations. You know, and I'm looking at, okay, well, why do those colors work together? Well, if you look here, you know, the blue, violet, violet. Oh, 
on the color wheel you know green is yellow green is kind of right across from that it's almost a complementary color so there's a reason there's a reason the combo works thanks for joining me check the description box for links to any of the products used in here although there was relatively few and um, we'll see you for the next index card of day, 